If your year has been anything like mine, then it's time to relax the mind and body. And these free VR meditation games and apps on the Steam Store will help you relax after a stressful day. If you don't watch the whole video, I encourage you to at least watch my favorite, which is saved for last, and it's called Visitations. I left some timestamps in the video, so it should be easy to find. Hey everyone, this is Corey, and today I want to talk about Steam's free VR games for meditation and relaxing. If you've never meditated before, I highly recommend it, especially if you are tense and stressed in your day-to-day -day life. I used to think meditation was something only for monks and spiritualists, but I've learned that meditating can be done by anyone, and it doesn't have to be as boring as sitting still in a quiet room with your eyes closed, attempting to think about nothing, as your mind does the opposite and races with the stressful thoughts from the day. Meditating in VR is very special because you are able to relax your mind while immersing yourself in any environment you can think of, and even environments which you would never have imagined. The experiences you have in VR distracts you from your own thoughts, and this is why I think VR is the best way to meditate, especially those who are new to meditation. For most of these meditation apps, I recommend sitting in a reclined chair so that you can relax the best, and with some of them you can even lay down. So, let me walk you through these free VR meditation apps. We will start with Shinran Yoku, Forest Meditation and Relaxation, which places you in a familiar environment. You are placed in a forest, and there are day and night scenes in this forest. In the daytime scene, you have a stick, and there's a frog nearby. You can poke the frog with a stick if you want, and it'll jump forward each time. You may be thinking, what's so meditating about this? Well, the fact that you're surrounded by a forest, and you are no longer in your own room is what will distract you from your own thoughts. You think about your surroundings rather than your current living situation and stresses and it helps you to relax with the environmental sounds. There is also an elk in the distance, which you can observe. Poking the nearby stone will bring you to the next scene. The second scene gives you a flashlight, and it's suddenly nighttime. You may be spooked by this one, but there's a friendly owl nearby, which keeps you company. If you don't like this scene, shining your flashlight on the stone will bring you back to daylight. This is the simplest environment for meditating, and it's nice to just enjoy the scenery and listen to the sounds of the forest while distracting the mind into relaxation. Meditation VR places you in another familiar place. You're on a beautifully crafted island sitting on a beach, watching the sunset as you listen to the waves slowly crashing in. You can choose to have a guided meditation session or just relax and listen to the sounds of the island. If you're new to meditation, I would definitely recommend the guided experience first. I was instantly relaxed as I sat on the beach, listening to the ocean waves and tropical birds around me, as the sun was setting and I was guided through my relaxing meditation. As the sun sets, you notice the lighting changes on the island, which further immerses you, and I thought it was quite an amazing feature. Liminal is a game which attempts to modify your current mood and you select a game to play based on how you wish to feel. You are able to choose from several categories, which are calm, energy, pain relief, and awe. There is also one called The Lab, but you have to pay to play this one. Since this video is focused on relaxing and meditating, we are going to focus on the calm section. In this category, you're able to select from a few games which rotate out if you're playing the free version of the game. This means you won't always see the same games in this category, unless you pay for them. When clicking on a game, a window pops up in front of you, describing the game and also giving you data which tells you how the game should make you feel. Whether you want to feel energetic or calm, there's a game for you. I personally enjoyed a game called Ripple Effect Aqua, which has you relax through meditated breathing while presenting you with visuals to slow your breathing and keep you calm and focused on what's in front of you. There are dozens and dozens of these games and experiences, and there's always something new. In these next few meditation apps, you'll start to notice they are more abstract. I personally enjoyed these the most because they completely disconnected me from the world around me. In Binaural Odyssey, you are surrounded by various lights and shapes. These objects are choreographed in a way which grabs your attention and distracts you from your thoughts. 
I became entranced and distracted by these lights and particles to the point where I lost track of time. There's a constant ominous tone which can help distract you from any surrounding environmental sounds. And this brings you deeper into a meditative state of mind. In Cosmic Sugar VR, you're in a dark room with one million tiny particles surrounding you. You are able to manipulate these particles, and the free version lets you control these particles by pulling them towards one hand and pushing them away with the other. It's a sandbox type game where you are able to create your own shapes with the particles and relax your mind by focusing on the particles in front of you. When playing this, my mind was relaxed and not focused on anything else other than the particles in front of me, which I was manipulating. It also had me thinking of the Big Bang Theory at one point, and how tiny we are compared to the rest of the universe, as I was imagining each particle representing a single galaxy, with ours, the Milky Way, somewhere hidden among them. Reflection Horizons is an experience where you are slowly lifted out of a tall cylinder-shaped room. I've tried this experience laying down, and it's quite nice to see the square opening above you get closer and closer, and eventually you reach the top, where you are surrounded by water, with an abstract version of what represents the sun rising once again on the horizon of the water. It's very calming as you're lifted, and I would definitely recommend this one. Lastly, we have Visitations. This is my favorite, and I will definitely be going back to it. There are six different experiences, and I enjoyed each one in a different way. There's everything from guided meditation, sleep-inducing guides, and a focus game where you use your head to move a pin through small rings while immersed inside of a kaleidoscope. My favorite experience in this one is called Greenwood Butterflies by EMBC. I will say that the music in this one is pretty loud, so make sure you turn down the volume on your headset before you start this. Greenwood Butterflies reminds me of the 1940s Disney film, Fantasia. It also reminds me of a scene from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, where Mac comes out to his father, which was a beautiful performance and brought many tears to my eyes. You are listening to peaceful piano and string instruments, while being presented a beautifully choreographed butterfly-like object, which dances in front of you as it moves closer and closer to you, eventually wrapping you in its grasp and pulling you deeper into a trance. It's incredibly captivating, and something which can only be appreciated by experiencing it yourself in VR. There are many ways which you can meditate, and I would say that VR in general is a great form of meditation. Being able to put on a VR headset and enter a completely different world, where you are no longer in your room, and instead are on the top of a mountain, or giving high fives to an adorable little mouse. If you want to chat about anything, I do stream on Twitch, so feel free to follow me there. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribing is the best way to get more. Make sure you hit the bell to get notified as soon as I release new videos, and liking the video will show your appreciation. Comment below and let me know what you think. You can also follow me on Twitter if you want to see more of my thoughts and get notified when I go live on Twitch. Links are in the description down below. And as always, make sure you think for yourself, which means question yourself, do what makes you happy, and I'll see you all next time.